Okay, this tutorial will review the clone tool and we'll use the healing tool as well, which is pretty similar. What we're going to do is we're going to try and restore the photograph so that the original one on the left will look something like the one on the right. Um, there will be slight differences, of course, but uh, this will give you the opportunity to play around with it. This could take you hours to do. Don't take hours. Just uh, try and uh, do what you can with the time that you have as well. So here's what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the layer and we're going to use one of these. So we'll have a back backup just in case. Yes, it would be easy to cut this one out and throw it over here and paste it on or copy and paste, but uh, we're not going to do that. We can use the clone tool here. I purposely chose this image because it was uh, quite large. This is the original size of the image at 100%. Um, we can zoom in some more here if we want it to, or we could zoom out. I'm just set 2300 here now, so let's go back to 100 for a second. Now notice that we have a lot of editing to do here, and we're not going to do them all. But what I'll get you to do is to use the clone tool here, and choose an opacity and choose a size that will suit what you're trying to change. This wouldn't be too bad for here. So let's see what happens when I hit control, click, and because it's not completely opaque, I have to select it a few times here, and I could, you know, drag at the same time too, and that's looking pretty good. Now, because there are differences in the texture here, I may not want to make this look completely smooth. This might be what his, uh, well, what the clothing looked like originally here, or I guess that's the background, that's his ear. So this is the background, but we're going to get rid of the obvious things like those white spots here that wouldn't have been on the wall. That's not too bad. Now again, I'm not going to clone from here to change this one because the sort of the texture and the, the brightness of the wall changes a little bit. So I'm going to choose somewhere that's got that that's pretty close to it so that it'll look a little bit better for this corner here for the lighting setup as it was and so that's starting to come together I would do the same thing here maybe for this one I'm just clicking a couple times rather than dragging around this looks like a little bit of a blotch here so I'll choose somewhere that doesn't have as much of a blotch and I don't go too far and I'm gonna fix this one down here too now let's zoom out and see what this looks like so far of course there's a lot of work to do so you're not gonna do it all just do the obvious ones. Let's take a look at a suit over here. Let's zoom right in using the zoom tool and zoom in over here. Okay, so let's fix this suit. So we can do that too. Use the let's use the healing tool. See how this works. What heal what the healing tool does, it will well it says it says it heals image irregularities. Well what that means is it's going to take pixels and sort of soften them and make them look a little bit better. Uh, so I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. We'll use the healing tool here. So again I'm going to click control click to set a new heal source. So let's go with this here and click to heal. Try shift for a straight line. Well I'm just going to click and what it does it's going to choose pixels around it here to try and match what it sees. Now it's not looking that great here, but let's try again. Let's go over here. I'm going to click here. And now click over here. It's a lot like the clone tool, but it's a little softer with the pixels. So it doesn't give it as, it's not an exact copy of pixels, but it's an approximation. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I'll click here, then click over here. And sort of darken it some. And so this image would obviously take a lot of work, but if you were going to charge somebody $500 to do this, it would be worth doing it. And some photographers will, will charge quite a bit of money to fix images, and now you'll know how to do it as well. Make yourself a couple extra bucks works great with black and white images like this but if we were to do this 
see that looks like it was a hair or something probably from the original negative or maybe it's just a scratch on the image and as I'm clicking if I notice that whoops it's a little too dark or something because I'm clicking every time I hit control Z it will remove one of the last steps so that's your undo now you could watch this video for uh, 10 hours or <laughs> it shouldn't take me that long to do but it's not going to uh, take me five minutes either so I'm not going to uh, do the whole image with you but what I'd like you to try to do for your own sake is to fix some of the image until you're pretty happy with it you could even get rid of the corners here it's a picture of it it's a picture of a picture from uh, an album it looks like and you could even get rid of the stuff over here you may decide that you will make this a little bit darker or lighter you can play with your colors but overall um, you'll be able to fix the image pretty well notice that the wall is already looking better down here so give that a shot this might take you a class period to do but do as well as you can and the practice you put into this will pay off if ever you decide that you want it to restore one of your own photographs